Well, my good friends, it's time for the school spotlight on KLOE. Curtis Duncan right here, and it's brought to you by the Goodland Regional Medical Center, and they thank you for being with us, and they are always busy, and thank you for being part of our community. You can visit the website, goodlandregional.com, goodlandregional.com. All right, Friday means, in this case, it's time for the uh, spotlight. Yes, we've got that firmly established. And we're going to talk uh, some Scholars Bowl, FCCLA, and high school events. Shane Holleran, Shane is the principal at uh, Goodland High School. And uh, go Cowboys, Cowgirls. How are you doing, Shane? Doing great. Thanks for having us, Curtis. Well, you're welcome. We're glad you're with us. Uh, things are still moving along. We're into a, a brand new year and almost done with January. That is amazing. Does it feel like it? You know, it's, it's gone fast for me. Maybe uh, my fastest school year, you know, as a professional ever. I think maybe as a junior in high school, I would argue that that thing was slow moving. But um, I think, you know, the snow days have helped a little bit. You know, the energy in the school, I think we're all um, kind of really underway and kind of set in what we're doing. Um, kind of gearing up for, we have a big uh, spring testing window kind of coming up. So just um, kind of getting some of those things in place and accommodations. And I'm um, just kind of working with our teachers and staff to make sure we're ready to go for, for that. So it doesn't, you know, show up. And, you know, three weeks from now we're having conferences and it doesn't seem like we're there yet, but here we are. Kind of an advanced uh, warning system, more or less. Like, okay, this is going to happen and we've got to be ready. Absolutely. I'm a, I'm a guy who likes to look ahead a little bit, uh, maybe further than we need to. Uh, we've already started talking about our career um, and exploration day, which will be March 1st. And so that's when, you know, we have a ton of community members and, um, and shareholders come in and talk about their personal businesses and just trying to um, pique interest for some kids who, who maybe don't know what they want to do yet. And, you know, there's, there's always people and even adults that don't know what they want to do yet. Um, so just kind of having those conversations now so that, you know, it doesn't spring up um, on us too quick. Let's talk about those tests briefly. Which ones are they, and is it all iPad testing or pen and pencil? Um, so, yeah. So, um, I think, you know, going one-to-one iPads, um, all, you know, for I don't know, probably want to say ten, at least 10-plus years, you know, um, maybe closer to 12 um, students have been taking them um, on the iPad. And so that's one thing I like to remind parents of. You know, we maybe had a, a typewriting class, if you, you go back maybe a little further, but a, a keyboarding class of some time, maybe it was Mavis teaches typing or Mario, you know, depending on what the school could afford, probably Curtis. Um, but, but nowadays, kids take all their assessments on the iPad, um, you know, and there's students who have accommodations, and that's different. Um, some do read aloud and things like that. But, um, again, that's kind of what we're, we're talking about now, just what does that look like for all of our students moving forward. Um, but, yeah, that they take them on the iPad. There's, you know, reading tests and social studies tests, and not every student does all of it. You know, there's kind of a rotation, and sophomores all do one thing, and then juniors do one thing, and that kind of trickles down to where we fill the gaps with the other grades. Um, and that, you know, that, that data is important to us and kind of shows us what road we're on as a high school. Good. And that's uh, headed our way later on, and you'll kind of probably visit with us before that strikes again. Definitely. Overall, um, how is the school doing well? Are we okay? Is there any illness or major sicknesses that you've had to deal with? Well, you know, I think that we were all uh, sick at one point or another before the break, and I think that um, that nice reset, you know, fill our bellies, maybe take a little more naps over Christmas break, just kind of veg out and relax, really goes a long way. I know in my household, I had three six kid, uh, three sick kids. Um, you know, moving on into Christmas and I'm going, oh my gosh, it's a week and we're traveling and then it all cleared up and it was great. And um, we know that, you know, we'll be sick kind of that beginning of February again. And, um, you know, being a basketball coach, I know that the sickness is, you know, it's ebb, it ebbs and it flows. And um, I, I know that that's coming and we're we're still subbing and, you know, me and, and Mr. Lehman, we, we're, we're subbing in classrooms and our teachers uh, give up their plans and sub in classrooms. So um, if you're out there listening to this and you still would like to be a substitute teacher for us, you, uh, you let me know and we can help you um, on your way. Um, but our staff does a really great job of stepping up when we need to. And um, again, sickness is always a part of it. We have teachers that 
get sick themselves, but a lot of teachers are just um, staying home with kids right now, and that's that's kind of what we're seeing. And we know that the worst is probably yet to come this semester, and we're just kind of again bearing down and just making sure we're uh, we're ready for it. One thing too, real quick, and then we'll move on. That uh, when you're on bus trips, you're in confined spaces, and yes, some of you who travel more than others, uh, it's a different ballgame. Yep, and especially being in the GWAC, and um, you know, not that everything is centered around sports, but when you have three schools that are two and a half hours away on a Friday that you have to go to sometimes it's that's always plays a factor you know we're going to Russell today and even I'd argue that's probably one of our easier trips right just on I-70 that's still quite a ways away um, and so just like you said it's you know if one can sick maybe that travels throughout the bus and maybe it doesn't it just it just depends so we we push the the vitamin C and you know all the you know the vitamins and the Gatorade pretty hard making sure they get plenty of fluid yeah that is a good deal and keep the buses uh, uh, taken care of with the uh, fungicide the sprays and, and all this for sure good Shane Holleran principal at Goodland Junior Senior High School all right so uh, who's our first guest well in fact let's just get switch here and get our first yeah. guest going uh, have a chair there and we'll uh, be hearing from our guest one of them we have uh, three coming in and you are I'm Harrison Ben. Harrison, great to have you with us. Uh, welcome, and what year are you? I'm a senior in high school. Senior, okay. So do you have plans for uh, when school's done? What do you think? Uh, yeah, I plan on going to K-State and studying finance or uh, economics. Okay, very good. Kind of keep things in the family. Yeah, that economics and, and all this has uh, helped your dad uh, with the school or grain. For sure, yep. Yeah, certainly. Got That's a job. Yes, yes, I, I believe it. Harrison, uh, being a senior, uh, you've been involved in the Scholars Bowl. That's been pretty good for you. Let's hear about it. Uh, yeah, so we won league uh, this week, and that was pretty exciting to do that. And we're hoping to go to regionals and win that too, obviously. But if we get uh, top three, we'll make the state Scholars Bowl. And we've had a pretty good year for our team this year. Do you have to study a lot on different topics? How does that work? Um, so we have practice where we go over like practice questions about once a week, but really it's like everybody has their few categories that they're good at. So I generally get quite a bit of math questions. I'd say that's like my main category that I'm good at. And then when it comes to like English and literature, that is definitely not my strong suit. So normally my teammates are the ones that are answering those questions. What What are a couple other areas that uh, your teammate team has to deal with as far as Scholars Bowl topics? Okay, so there's foreign language. So you have to translate a Spanish, German, or French sentence into English. And then there's social studies uh english math science and then uh there's fine arts slash miscellaneous and then the very last question is always like a current issues question so you've got to kind of be on top of whatever's going on major things in the world yeah yep so normally it's about like with current events within a year so normally it's not like stuff that happened within like a week but you just kind of got to know world events that are happening within the entire year yeah what other things are you involved with uh, harrison uh i'm in a lot of stuff this year i'm in ffa i'm in science olympiad uh those are the two big ones that i'm in right now and then i did football this year and i talked about that earlier and then i'll also be in track okay I want to get back just real quick. I happen to think on the Scholars Bowl, how many are on your team? So I believe there's 10 of us in total, but in an actual competing team, there's five people. Five, okay. Yep. And how do you decide five? The oldest one, or is there competitions for that? Uh, we switch it up a lot, but generally we'll take uh, six people to a meet and – uh, have one alternate that will swap through and then normally it's yeah it's normally just six and there's just a few people that are swapping in me i normally stay in the whole time very good well good luck to you anything else you wanted to share uh go cowboys and wish us luck on thursday yes, at regionals. yes. 
Good, good enough. All right, Harrison Ben, senior at Goodland High School. We were talking about the Scholars Bowl. You're listening to the Goodland Regional Medical Center School Spotlight here on KLOE Radio. Hi, nice to have you with us. And who are you and what are you going to focus on? I am Reagan James. I'm in eighth grade and I recently, this Wednesday, just got done doing a star event and running for district office. Oh, okay. Yeah. For a STAR event, what is this? Kind of explain to our listeners. So STAR events is students taking action with recognition. So there's 33 topics you can choose from, and you can do them in groups of one, two, or three. And you pick one of the topics, and a few of them are online that you can do. And so there's a bunch of different rubrics and things you have to follow to make your event and me and my friend's project was repurpose and redesign so we made bags out of my dad's old bunker gear because he's on the fire department and that was because we repurposed all that and we had to make a speech we had to make a big board and had to have a bunch of other stuff on it and once you finish with that, it usually takes a few months. We go to star events, and usually it's a different town. This time it was in Hill City. And we go in front of three judges, and we go through our speeches and everything, and they get to judge us based on how well we did and how good our speech was and all that. Well, you're doing a great job on the radio. You've mm-hmm. explained everything. I I followed right with you, so that makes it nice. But well, you've had some good uh, good practice. What got you interested in this? Um, last year, I was in facts class, um, second semester. And first semester, I decided, you know, FCCLA sounded fun because I wanted to join a club. And so I joined that, and Miss Warner, the old facts teacher, told me that I should be a district officer. Um, obviously it was too late last year to do it, so I ran this year, and I was still pretty interested by the time I did it, so I ran this year. Good, and uh, did you uh, get to be state officer? I did. I'm secretary of districts now, so I take minutes of all the meetings we go to. Wow, that's uh, that's a responsibility to get all that right. <laughs> yeah, And And who true. said what uh, and all this. Uh-huh. So, do you have some other events uh, with the FCCLA throughout the rest of this school year? Um, we go to, so if we get a good enough score on our STAR events, we go to state, which is in Wichita. And that's like a three or four day event. And everybody from our town made it to state. So, in April, we're all going to go to state and we will compete there. Well, congratulations. That's Thank a you. big honor for yeah. everybody to get uh-huh. there. I know FCCLA is very strong uh, in the junior high and high school, so I'll just about bet you'll stay with it all the way through high school, too, I'll bet. Yeah, I'm probably going to do it for the rest of the time I'm in school. Well, good for you. Good for you. Any advice to uh, future members that might want to be with the FCCLA? Um, You really need to have confidence in yourself and just focus on what you need to get done. But once you, like, relax and have fun with it, it's a really fun organization. Yeah, and you get to give speeches and be in front you of do. people. Yeah, yeah. If you're shy and I can't say I don't want to go around the corner, yeah. uh, that won't work. But uh, but we see people change, don't we? Oh yeah, a lot. Yes, mm-hmm. some just think, hey, this is pretty good. I could do this. Yep. Very nice. Well, you might be a lawyer someday. <laughs> Could be, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Have you even thought about down the road? I know you're, you um, said eighth grade. That's still... So, yeah. Our star events, basically, like, we have to take kind of a quiz or, like, to enter our star event to get judged. And one of the questions was, would you consider this being a part of your future job? Like, would you take doing what you're doing now into consideration for your future? And we put, we didn't know yet, because there's like a long way to go. But it's definitely, it's been a thought. Very good. Well, good luck to you. And uh, you're in eighth grade, so uh, we uh, wish you the best of luck. What else are you doing in eighth grade right now? I do Scholars Bowl, Junior High Scholars Bowl. And we just had a meet yesterday. We got second place. So that was really good. Um, We have a few more meets to go to. And then we finish in late february i think wow well congratulations good luck 
Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. Reagan James with us today on KLOE, and we'll switch here on our school spotlight, brought to you by the Goodland Regional Medical Center. Great facility to have in our uh, uh, northwest, northeast Kansas, or northeast Colorado, southwest of Nebraska. And another member of the FCCLA, that chair doesn't work too well sometimes, does it? (laughs) (laughs) And what's your name, and, and what office are you holding? Um, My name is Paige Fulwider. I'm in ninth grade, and I am holding two district positions, and I'm running for state. My goodness. What state office are you running for? Um, I haven't quite decided yet, but probably like star events or public relations. Okay. That'll be a good good choice either way. How did you get involved in FCCLA? Were you in it in eighth grade, or how did that work? Um, so in seventh grade, first semester, I was in a, a facts class, the seventh grade facts class, and Miss Warner, the old facts teacher, um, got me involved with FCCLA. So that year, I ran for district office and got junior high representative. And then this last year, I also ran and I got secretary. And then Miss Vars is being very supportive with me going even further and going to state this year. Yeah, she's uh, she's a, a, a strong supporter of kids going on and, and getting those state offices. Yes, she is. She wants District A to have more representation, and she thinks that I could do that. Great. That's good to have people believe in you, isn't it? Yes, it is. Sure, sure. How about uh, your family? Have you had family members that were in anything like this? Um, my mom was in... Um, FBLA, I think, and DECA. So she's been involved with school organizations and public speaking and stuff like that. So she's been a great help. Good. Sure. That always helps. So uh, what are some other things that uh, you're involved with right now? You also have some other events coming up and uh, star events. Did you work on that? Yeah. So I did an interior design star event with one of my friends and we got a gold at districts. So We had to design a youth counseling center with like a studio apartment and we had to do like research on how to make it the most functional, small spaces, um, like what's good in a counseling center. And then we pitched it to three judges and we got a good score. Wow. A good feeling. Yes. Yes, it is. How many, what what do you have um, to do now can you use the same star event when you go different places or do you have to come up with new ones so you use the same star event um you can change it up so probably gonna change up our speech and take some of the judges critique so that we can score better at state but we use the same project oh okay so you just kind of do a little tweaking refining yeah do you ever think boy we've got to throw that one out completely and get a new one have you had to do that before not yet this is only my second star event i know when we first started we had to restart a few times because we didn't like where it was going but our finished project like that we came up with i'm proud of do you have other events that you uh, work with in the fccla um uh, well i don't do it but there's also leo boards and you basically, there's like FCCLA and you make a project board out of it and you don't present those. But I'm not involved in those, but quite a few people at our school are doing those this year. Okay. Fundraising? Have you done fundraising? Do you need, I mean, it takes money to travel these yeah, places. Yeah, so we did the Senior Citizens Dinner, the Chili Feed, and we're looking at doing a lot more this upcoming semester. Okay. Oh, and the, we did um, socks. Oh, socks. I didn't know. Yeah, cool. Oh, those aren't the no. socks, but no. uh, <laughs> Principal is, he's wearing socks, but those aren't the socks that we were speaking of, but he did kind of boost her along a little bit. See, he's he's supporting the kids, even in from a distant chair. <laughs> yeah, I wore the hot dog socks yesterday, yes. Well, make sure we know about it on the radio, and we'll let people know what's uh, going on in not only the Goodland schools, but all our schools for fundraisers. That's uh, what we're here to help out and make it better. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Have you uh, thought about your uh, high school career, What, uh, or maybe beyond that? Have you gotten that far? What would you like to do later if you had to set things up now? Um, I've been thinking about going into, like, psychology for kids, like a child psychologist, but I don't have my heart set on anything yet. 
Okay. Just well, you've got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Yes. Who, who is your advisor this year at the uh, FCCLA? Brooklyn Vars. Oh, and Brooklyn has um, got some good ideas for you, I suppose? Yes, she does. She's been a big help. Yeah. What about your meeting times? When do you get to meet and put put things together? It takes some time for all this. Um, so when we come up with an idea, we try and have a meeting. And then we've been trying to do like monthly or bi-monthly meetings as well to try and get things started. Okay. Anything else you wanted to share with us? I don't think so. Great. Well, good luck to you, ninth grader Paige Fullwider, FCCLA member. And uh, let's go back to uh, Shane Holler and the principal at uh, Goodland Junior Senior High School. And uh, one more stop here. Are we still short school bus drivers? Yes, we could always use some school bus drivers. You know, um, uh, people might know maybe two or three weeks ago, we had to actually uh, cancel our shuttle bus, our district shuttle bus that um, kind of just takes a lap of uh, kids, you know, to, to every school in the morning and then after school, um, there's some stops too. So we're always looking for um, anyone out there with a, with a CDL and is willing to, you know, work just a few hours, to be honest, you know, a little bit before school, a little bit after school um, on or out would really go a long way for us. Well, help the kids. Ab- absolutely, you know. Um, you know, the, the, one of the sad things, we have some teachers that do have CDLs, but, you know, they're, they're coaching and they're doing other things. Um, but, yeah, anyone who would love to be involved, you know, get in contact, again, with the high school or the district office, we would, um, you know, love to, to, to hire at a number of positions. You know, really, the, we'd be, love to be flexible and, um, yep, get someone in there who loves kids, and that's, that's what it all depends on. And the other focus is student, or uh, not student teachers, but substitute teachers. Yeah, actually, we um, I actually just hired one. Um, kind of new to our, our midst, and uh, we're, we're excited at the, at the high school level. You know, sometimes um, it's good to have anyone, any sub in the district, um, but at the high school level, it does take kind of that, that special someone who's, you know, willing to go above and beyond and um, kind of to step into that role and try to carry out the teacher's lesson plans as best they can. So we're, we're excited, but um, always looking for new people to uh, join the ranks. Good enough, and they just need to contact the uh, Goodland High School yep. office, call, and say, hey, I want to come by and talk about this. And Absolutely, yep. We'll point you in the right direction. Um, I'll also throw in, we'll give you a free T-shirt, Curtis. So, I mean, I know, I know it's a lot. You know, there's some fees involved, too. But any way we can, we can um, help, you know, pass along the school spirit, we're willing to do that. So. Wonderful idea. Well, Shane Holleran, principal at the high school, thank you so much. Good luck, safe travel, and good luck on getting new bus drivers and some uh, good substitutes going. I'm sure that's uh, an, an issue at many other schools, too. It, it, de- it definitely is, Curtis. Yeah, well, we appreciate you having us on today. You're welcome. And we also thank Harrison Ben, Scholars Bowl a Senior, also Reagan James, uh, eighth grade member at FCCLA, and Paige Fullwider, a ninth grader at the FCCLA. And that, my friends, is your Goodland Regional Medical Center School Spotlight for today on 730 Fox Sports, KLOE Goodland. At Goodland Regional Medical Center, we are proud that our county-owned, community-led facility allows us the opportunity to be responsive, innovative, and to provide personalized care for all our patients. Our combination of full-time staff and visiting specialists provides for a robust list of health care services without the drive to larger communities. Our vision is working together to provide exceptional health care for you and your family. For more information, visit goodlandregional.com.